What is up everybody, I'm your Legendary Commander, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. In this video, we're going to talk about why everybody needs to be carrying a bow, and more specifically, a light crossbow or heavy crossbow if they can. Your first thoughts might be, well, I have a spellcaster, I don't need a crossbow. Well, maybe you do. Obviously, the spellcaster is going to be better with his spells than he will a crossbow. Or will he? Take this for example. Shadowheart has a 60% chance to hit somebody with Sacred Flame from up here. I have the high ground. Shouldn't I have better chance? No, because this is a saving throw spell. Saving throw spells have no advantage in this case. However, when you see that I switch to my light crossbow and aim down on that same enemy, I have an 88% chance. I get advantage for having high ground. And if we looked at the stats of this weapon, this weapon still does a D8 of damage. In fact, it does a D8 plus two piercing damage, which means as long as I hit, I'm guaranteed at least three damage and as much as 10 damage. So just looking at it, my percentile chance is lower if I use a spell with my spellcaster than if I used a crossbow on an enemy. And I realize Guiding Bolt is a spell that exists as well for a cleric, but how many times are you going to be able to throw a Guiding Bolt before you're down to cantrips and then you can't throw Guiding Bolt? But don't get me wrong, there are times when using Sacred Flame would be far better, like when the enemy is prone because Sacred Flame has a 100% hit chance. And you're going to get a guaranteed D8. Meanwhile, you would receive a penalty from a crossbow because the enemy is prone. So aside from this situation, the crossbow seems to be doing a better job. Now, if you have Firebolt or something like that as a cantrip, you could throw a Firebolt instead of using a crossbow. But then there's also the matter of trajectory. Crossbows add that one extra variant that you may not realize you have. Let's say you're trying to throw that Firebolt, but it's a straight path and there happens to be a rock in the way. Well, if you'd swap to your crossbow, you might see that that arrow has an arch to it and can arch over the stone which means you can lob an arrow over the bridge of the stone and hit the enemy behind it without actually having to clear the rock which means if you couldn't move or whatever you have a different angle of attack it allows for an opportunity that you may never have had speaking of opportunities you also have the opportunity to fire off special arrows you could use one of those force arrows and shoot something on the ground that makes everybody make a saving throw or they go flying. Or you could shoot an explosive flame arrow that lights everybody on fire or even an acid arrow that takes everybody's AC down by two and anybody who runs in it afterwards. And if you thought we're done, we're not exactly done just yet because if you're not min-maxing your action economy by using your bonus action to use the dip feature and letting your bonus action go to waste, well, you're missing another D4 of damage that you can add to, well, your arrows. So, that weapon that you just were firing something off now does an extra D4 of damage. So, that's a D8 plus 2 on Shadowheart plus a D4 of fire damage, which may even catch and burn sometimes, maybe. Um, you're looking at 14 points of damage at most. Why would you not want that? So if your mage is not carrying a crossbow, they totally need to get one. A short bow is the minimum, a long bow is a martial weapon, so only a few people can carry that. A light crossbow is going to give them a d8 instead of a d6, so you might as well get a light crossbow if you can. Again, it's not a martial weapon. And then the heavy, if any of those that can carry the heavy, carry the heavy crossbow for that d10 of damage. The crossbow doesn't weigh that much in the game, and it really isn't a hindrance, so why not carry one essentially? Hopefully I've explained this well enough and you'll understand why you need to carry a crossbow, or at least a bow, on every one of your characters. But before I keep going on, that is going to be the end of this video. If you like this one, hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, make sure to tell your friends, and as always, y'all take care, and I'll catch you next time. And it better be with a bow in your character's hand.